Welcome to the Yukon at North 61. One of the things I learned yes, last year is that what you really need with a motor canoe, uh, more than a paddle, is a pole. Well, I should have swung into this but I thought this might be deeper, and once I was off, the stream was so powerful I had nothing. So I cut these uh, in skidoo season. They now are fitted with a iron pole, iron chew rather. They're 11 and a half feet long, and uh, they're about five pounds. They're a little heavy, but I want to use these with the big 280 pound freighter, as well as uh, the smaller boats. So I'm going to learn how to do this because when the when the water gets shallow, uh, especially when there's a stream, you got to pull the motor up. And when you pull the motor up, uh, even the paddle doesn't work very well. You really need to push. So I'm going to learn to use these uh, poles. They're also good for going upstream. Uh, there's quite an art to them. You have to stand up. So in the big canoe, it won't be a problem. In the smaller canoe, it going to require a little bit of balance. So that's my 11 foot pole. Cut them down. Uh, I cut them very, fairly big. So I shaved them down um, so that the, the thickest point is in the middle and they narrow out to both sides. So uh, I'm going to give these a go. Might be a little heavy. If so, I'll cut them down a little bit more, but I've got them all pine tar it up and leave them in the sun for a while and that pine tar will soak right into everything and I got two of them and, uh, this is the second one they're big they're uh, clumsy I'm gonna have to learn to use these guys but that'll be a lot of fun so canoe poles new adventure